the last one is this one here. Okay. And I think it kind of goes like this. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're too close yeah. for one thing. Hi kids! I'm um, shooting a closer picture of these gorgeous pieces of wood. Okay, so, hey kids! No, I don't want to say that. That's your thing. Oh, hi kids! <laughs> How cheesy, huh? Oh, hello. <laughs> that sounds like Moira Rose. Let's try it again. There's some. Don't, don't try and clean them to it. They're all going to fall okay. apart. Oh, hello. I'm making a quick video and I'm going to show you the pieces of wood in the classroom video episode two. It was entitled Texture in Photography. We didn't spend enough time showing you how great they were. And for that, I'm sorry. So we're gonna show the wood textures. So here is one of them that we showed. And you know, the professor said you could turn it in different directions, whatever suits your fancy. You know what's nice, Laura, is that I can see there's these two holes in it and I can see your yellow blouse right through it. So it adds a little charming color. Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I liked it best this way because to me it reminds me of a face. Um, in the corner, here's one eye and this eye is closed. Maybe it's swollen shut, who knows? I think it's a boxer. It's a boxer, yes. And here's sort of a grimace in this area here. I have a weird imagination and I saw those things in this when I first looked at it. However, there's lots of different things in here and it's just a great piece of wood to begin with. I love wood that's cracked, texture. Myself, I really like that. I like that piece that I just showed you. And this piece here, this was a weird piece. It can be flipped in different directions. I don't really like it at all. Do you think it's because it's missing a corner it's missing something yeah. yes i like to have things that are somewhat even um you know like four sides or three things or something but this one has a chunk missing and so that's why i don't love it but it has great texture and different colors in the whatever color this is i think it's well, they're teal kind of, they're almost kind of bluish Depends, you know, there's a little blue in it. Yeah, I like the color of this wood and I like all the rotted parts and the cracking and all that. So I do like this piece. I just, it's not my favorite because it needs to have the corner back and who knows where that went. Right. But this is the one I spun around. I almost like the back too, but no, no, I just, this one, this one's, this one's okay. We'll pass on that. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one, this is, oh, Look at the back of this one. There's oh some dear. stuff on the back. What is that all Those about? Those are previous notes from another lecture. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, I see that. See, I left them outside for I see the notes long. from this lesson on the back. Anyway, I like this piece here. It's because it's kind of rectangle, square, whatever. It's got all the corners. To me, it looks a little bit like a tree. See, now on this one, I see a bowl running across the picture plane. The head is in sort of the upper area and the little feet are down below. It kind of reminds me of the cave paintings from Altamira or Lascaux in southern France. Wow. About 30,000 years ago. That's what it reminds me of. Well, there's an imagination. There you go. <laughs> also some education behind that. I don't see those things. To each his own. This one here made a nice mask. I see you. Good Halloween. Ooh. Stinky. It smells like old wood. It is. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, this is another one that we showed. I really do like that one. And also, besides missing some chunks, it has growths in there. It's either pieces of sawdust or it's something growing. I'm not sure what it is, but it has extra texture. Now this one... This has a lot of extra texture not, too. 
Or is this the one that was a mask? I'm, uh, not, I'm sure. not sure, but this one's got a lot of holes in it. This got one, one I really like. I like it's this one three. a lot. It has, it's a perfect shape for me. It's like the shape of a, a video screen. I don't know. It's not square. I do like squares though too, but I really like this one here. And in addition to the texture, the end is not flat. It's weathered away, chewed away, eaten, who knows? Um, this one, I guess you said you like these knots up in the corner. I like those little guys. They're kind of cool. There's a circle there in the upper where your fingers are. I like that little circle there. I seem to like the bullet holes or nail holes, whatever they, they are. They probably were bu uh, I'm nail imagining holes. bullet holes, but they probably were nail holes. Although some of them are in weird spots. That's why. And you know, the way you got it right now, it forms uh, the three little holes. I don't know if you can see it from your angle, but they form like a little triangle in the middle. I can see it. Can you see it? Yep. Yeah. And this way it's pointing Well, there's another, upwards. now there's a, like a little pyramid, you know, so you got the base and then it goes up or isosceles triangle or something like that. I'm not big on math. Is it looking beautiful this way too? Um, well, I'm a little disturbed about the way your arms are. There, <laughs> does that hurt when you do no. that with your arms? <laughs> no, but if I kept <laughs> going, it might hurt. There you go. Uh, I, I can there. go either way. I can go either way yeah. too. Wow, <laughs> hey, you are flexible. Anyway, yes, I like this one. I like the back of this one. It's got ah. some coloring in there. This one's one of my favorites. I like the shape and all the patterns in it. It grows on you. I hope it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> And then this one. This is the one the professor took a picture of. It's got a knot somewhere. Well, it's sort of in the dead, almost not quite the center, but there's that, well, it looks like an Ooh, eye. Oh, to me, it looked like a big nose. So if you go back to the original, and maybe we can dump the uh, original picture in it, you'll see there's quite a transformation when you go from this to what I recorded with the camera and then uh, printed. And that transformation, by the way, is sort of preconceiving what you could, how you can change, you see something and you say, oh, if I do this, and if I do this, and if I do this, I can transform it into something that'll look a little different. So that's preconceptions. Uh, so you, you um, it helps uh, oh, crystallize what techniques you might use in the dark room or how to make a print. Does that make what? sense? No, <laughs> say, what? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I don't have a clue what you just said. I don't know why. Let's see. Here's American you Commerce confused. going overhead again. Oh yeah, we'll wait. These are the ones that we showed earlier, but we didn't show. So now we showed them better. I hope uh, you enjoyed the close-ups of, of these pieces of wood. And um, you know, they're gonna live on a lot longer. They'll be art projects for quite a while, but. Do you think we should offer these for sale? <laughs> no. We could auction them off. Go get some Even. of your own textured wood. For people who want to get their own textured wood, you buy some boards, you paint them, and then you bang a, some, uh, bang a hammer and just make marks on them, and then leave them outside for about, oh, five, six, seven, eight years, and then they will start to uh, mm -hmm. grow, and they'll be uh, acclimated, and they'll develop a, a personality. And then from there, you can start taking pictures of them. Well, that takes a while to do it that way. Oh, it's probably yeah. better to go find some somewhere. I suppose, yeah. And the, they're everywhere, really. Yeah. We'll put a pallet outside for a couple of yeah. years and it turns into something really amazing. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, if I had to choose a favorite, uh, oh, I hate that one there with it so close. <laughs> if I had to choose a favorite, it's too hard. But I still kind of like this one. The first one. Or this one. Or, or this one. I don't know. You choose. <laughs> well, you guys, that concludes our close-up view of the textured pieces of wood we use in our latest in the classroom with the professor. The lecture on texture. Texture and photography. Hope you enjoyed the close-up of these chunks of wood. Now go out there and find your own and take some great pictures. I'm smiling. Bye. <laughs>